Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a couple of videos. This will be a short one here, probably just a minute or two. I uh, basically wanted to showcase our design using Easy Start 2 here, where we are using a internal airtight blast door and a external blast door. Of course the external blast door is set up by default, so you're all familiar with that. As you can see, we can activate it and lower it. It'll cover the area just fine. We'll go ahead and raise that back up. And we can activate our airtight door. So this premise here gives you basically a two layer protection. Uh, in testing, it's been a bit inconsistent the amount of damage that the uh, airtight blast door can take, but basically it can take about 10 rockets on average. And the uh, blast door appears to be able to take about 12 to 15 rockets on average, so slightly stronger. So you'd set this up on most of your large ship main hangar bays or stations of course and the uh, idea is of course you'd have your airtight door to keep the seal and you bring down your blast door here and that is your armor protection and that you don't have to worry too much about getting it just flush or anything like that because obviously you're not going to worry about people shooting through the bottom if you have a little bit of a gap so basically well as I said that's the premise is you have an armored door that just comes down this also just gives you an extra layer of armor altogether. So even if you don't feel the need for it, it's always a good idea because, well, you can take extra damage. And I'm just kind of repeating myself at this point. So, <laughs> that's it for this quick video here, and we're going to go ahead and go on to our timer block video next. And I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. 